I came back to visit the friends that I had made the previous two summers, the next summer, the summer of 1965. And once again, I happened to hit it on the right day. I was sitting in the outer office in Senator Cooper's, uh, uh, you know, in the reception area in Senator Cooper's office, hoping to get a chance to see him. He walks out, grabs him by the arm, and says, <clears throat> I'm going to take you to something really important. <clears throat> We come over to the rotunda, and there I am in the back of the room watching Lyndon Baines Johnson sign the Voting Rights Act of 1965. I had a better seat than I did for the Martin Luther King speech. And one more anecdote you might be interested in. In 2008, I was in the <clears throat> rotunda we were celebrating the 100th anniversary of the birth of LBJ. And I met Lucy Johnson, who I'd never met before. And I said, Lucy, um, I was here on the day your dad signed the Voting Rights Act. She said, I was too. I said, really? I said, I'm sure nobody knew I was here, but I'm positive everybody knew you were here. And here's what she told me. She said that her dad, said, come on, get in the car. I'm going to take you to the Capitol. This is something important. And on the way down, he explained to her that Everett Dirksen was going to be right beside him while he signed the bill. And she said, Daddy, why would you want to have a Republican there for this? He said, it's important that the American people understand that this is done on a bipartisan basis, and the American people will be much more likely to accept what we're doing if they think both sides are involved in it. And that was the story Lucy told me on LBJ's 100th birthday down at Statuary Hall. Now, you've talked about your internships in the House and Senate side. When did this whole interest in politics get started for you? Uh, probably high school. And <laughs> I ran for, for president of the student body in high school. If I'd lost, maybe I'd have done something else. <laughs> and was it, uh, I mean, was there a mentor that, that or were you following politics I in just got family? interested. I, you know, I was, in my fifth grade, picture. You know, I had the little mug shots every year. My fifth grade picture, I had an I like Ike button on my. There weren't too my, many Republicans. Or you were in Kentucky at that I point? Was in, I was in uh, Georgia at that oh. point. And you were right, there weren't many Republicans. My, my dad had served in World War II, way down as a foot soldier level under Eisenhower. And he decided to vote for Eisenhower. Obviously, Eisenhower didn't carry any southern states. But my dad was a great admirer of the commander. And so I sort of began to identify with Republicans a little bit. And four years later, we were in Kentucky. And you know, even though it was a Democratic state, Republicans occasionally won. My dad was a Republican. So I began to identify with Republicans and decided to uh, take a shot at it. I ran for president of the student body in college and law school, too. And once Clean you, sweep. 